Namaste and welcome to day 6 of 30 days of AppRight. I hope you are enjoying learning AppRight with us. In today's session, we will be learning about SSL certificates, what they are and how AppRight handles and how you can troubleshoot SSL certificate issues in AppRight. So first, what is SSL? SSL is a security protocol that provides secure communication over internet. So SSL was improved and replaced by TLS, but both TLS and SSLs are commonly used to refer to the same process that is securing HTTP sessions over internet. And it uses a pair or certificate key pairs that are signed by a certificate authority CA for sort. Trusting certificates. So the TLS protocol or SSL provides unique key pairs that not only provide encryption that also includes domain, host, organization information and all the required information to validate a certificate. And since the TLS technology itself is open source, anyone can operate as a CA or anyone can create and sign the certificate. That is why in order to keep the users secure, computers and browsers, they are shipped with a list of pre-vetted or list of CAs that are trusted automatically that uses certificate issued by those trusted source are trusted automatically. And without those trusted authorities, if we generate the certificate ourselves, or if we use the certificate generated by some open source technology that are not trusted worldwide, our browser give us a potential risk warning. You can see the example image from Firefox. So Firefox is warning here of potential security risk. It says that there is a SSL certificate, but it does not know the signed authority, signing authority, it does not trust. And the process of becoming a universally trusted certificate authority can be costly. That is why organizations like DigiCert and IdentTrust charge money for their services. What are the free options to get globally accepted SSL certificates? So welcome to Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is a free and automated and the trusted certificate authority. It's free automated open source trusted certificate authority that provides free for safer and more secure internet. And it uses, it provides tools like Sortboard to automate the issuing and renewing of SSL certificates. So AppRight uses Sortboard under the hood to automatically handle certificate generation and renewal of domains connected to AppRight so that you can focus on building more secure application. In order to secure AppRight with HTTPS, you need to install AppRight maybe on a VPS and need to point the domain to your AppRight instance so that when AppRight is up and running, it will generate the SSL certificate for the domain that you are using. In development mode, however, AppRight uses a self-signed certificate. Why? All the technologies required to generate SSL is open source. However, if we generate a certificate ourselves and sign it, it is not globally trusted. But that is fine for development purpose. And for development purpose, we need to use in our client SDKs, we need to provide a method called client.self set self signed so that we accept self signed certificate. And AppRight uses self signed certificate via traffic proxy by default in development mode. However, in production, you need to make sure while installing AppRight, you set the environment to production, you set a proper system security email address so that you 
get the notification about your certificates and a public facing domain app domain environment variables need to be set so that app right will automatically generate certificate for the domain assigned here and also make sure traffic is listening to port 80 and from any of your clients in production mode remove client dot set self signed now whenever you have issues with your app right certificates or ssl certificates in app right you can debug there are two commands that you can use one you can view the logs of app right worker certificates and second you can restart app right that will trigger the certificate generation once more so let's look at how we can do that in our app right installation so here here is the warning that you get on potential risk we can just for this is localhost we can just go to advance and accept the risk and continue let's see what we can see in the logs for certificates worker so docker compose logs as certificates so this command should be run from the folder where you have installed app right and the folder that contains docker compose.ml file once i run this i can see the logs so here we can see start work on localhost validate cname false so as this is localhost we don't get a proper certificate we are getting some error here see exception unknown public suffix for domain now in the production if you see some errors here you can just restart compose app right so that the certificate generation process is started again so we can see that in the logs we'll have more similar errors or success on generating certificate so this is all for episode 6 i hope you learned what ssl certificates are and also know how to debug ssl certificate errors in your app right install that is launched in production in development you don't have to do anything it should be working right out of the box you just need to set the set to accept the self self signed certificate in your client sdks thank you see you again in the next episode